Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's the Only with Thrifty Divas, and I'm here today with my super duper easy and delicious chicken pot pie recipe. I came up with this um, probably last year. I know it's like not original or anything, but I wanted to try it, and I had never made a chicken pot pie before, but I was like, I could probably swing it. I loved it, my husband loved it, my son loved it. It's absolutely delicious and so, so easy. So I'm gonna show you how to make it in hopes that maybe you can add it to your repertoire as well. So all you'll need is the refrigerated pre-made pie crusts, the roll-out ones. Um, you will need two to three chicken breasts. You will need a frozen bag of mixed vegetables, one can of cream of celery soup, one can of cream of chicken soup, and that is all. The pie crusts, the chicken breasts, the two soups, and the bag of vegetables, and that's it. So, so easy, and the way I found out like to make it and the ease of it all was actually at Dollar General. If you have a fully stocked Dollar General with a refrigerator and freezer section, you can find absolutely everything you need at Dollar General for this dish, so it's pretty cool. Uh, if you're having guests over, you can impress them with it. They'll never know how easy it is. It's pretty awesome. So I will put the recipe, well, the ingredients, down in the description box for everybody. So I hope you enjoy this, and I hope you make it, and I hope you like it as much as I do. So here we go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, I have three chicken breasts here. Uh, that's probably actually too much. Um, two is usually what I use but I have three uh, in a package wrapped and frozen so I'm just gonna use the three and then you're just gonna cut it into little tiny pieces little cubes All right, the next thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna put some oil in your pan, whatever you're liking. I just threw in some uh, olive oil. And then once that gets heated up a little bit, you are just going to drop your chicken in the pan. All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and season this just a little bit. I'm going to put some adobo on there. And some onion powder. Much of salt. So you just want to let the chicken cook completely through. Okay, you can cover it up to speed up the process, which is what I'm going to do. And while we're waiting for the chicken to cook, we're gonna head over and do something else. So while we're waiting for the chicken to cook, I am going to use this uh, pre-made pie crusts that you roll out. They come two in a box and they are for nine inch pie pans, which is what I have here. I have a deep dish nine inch pie pan. I happen to get mine from Aldi because I think it's the best price I have found. Although, if you're in a pinch, Dollar General, if they do have a freezer section and a refrigerator section at your Dollar General, usually sells everything you need for this down to the frozen chicken breasts as well. So we just put the bottom crust down and you're gonna try to stretch that crust up slowly without breaking it or ripping it to the top. So 
so that you can join the top and the bottom crusts if you can. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Then the other two things that we're gonna be using, we're obviously gonna wait on this top crust because we have to fill it first. The other things I'm going to be using is a can of cream of celery soup and a can of cream of chicken soup. Aldi sells these both for 65 or 85 cents, I believe. And Dollar General sells them as well. That's why you could get everything you need pie crusts, frozen chicken, and the soups from Dollar General if you are in a pinch. All right, so now that's done. Let's go check back on the chicken. Chicken is looking pretty good. I see some pink still, so I'm just going to stir it around a little bit more. And I have preheated my oven to 365. So I'm just going to stir this around. This might be too much chicken. I'll see when I pour it into my pie dish. If it is, I will just save it for my son to snack on. No big deal. Now we're going to put the chicken in and I forgot to mention one more important ingredient um, that you can also get from Dollar General from the freezer section if you are in a pinch and that is a, a bag of frozen mixed vegetables which I will show you in just one second. So we're just going to see if we're going to use all of this and I don't think I am so I think I will be saving some, some for my son for a snack. So here is what I forgot to tell you about. This is a bag of frozen mixed vegetables with the peas, carrots, corn, and string beans. So just one of the little bags. Dollar Tree sells these also. And you're just gonna pour that right in, frozen. And then we are going to take our can of cream of chicken soup and just dump that in there as is. And then the can of cream of celery. And now with a rubber spatula, you are just going to try to mix everything together. You can do this in a separate bowl if this part seems troublesome to you. I just like to keep it as simple as possible. And this is how I do it, and it works for me every time. But you wanna be very careful not to rip that bottom crust down at the bottom. All right, and once everything looks fully incorporated, we're gonna go ahead and put on that top crust. You are going to slowly unroll it this one of course is breaking everywhere. And then you put it on top and you're going to try your best to meet it with the bottom crust and then just pinch them together. This oftentimes requires going downward into the pie dish to meet with the bottom crust. Then you are going to cut your venting slits. I just do four lines and that's what it ends up looking like. And now let's see how long we keep it in at 365. 
So here is the finished product. This was about 45 to 50 minutes in the oven at 365. You just want to watch for bubbling and you could put an egg wash on this if you were like picky, but I, f I never do. It's For me it's fine, but it's a personal preference. And ideally you want to let it cool down. Um, Popeye never really stays together that well, but this will run out a lot when you cut it. And again, to me, it's fine because it tastes delicious and all the parts are there, whether it runs out or not and doesn't stay intact on your plate. So here's the finished product. You see how it runs out a little bit, but that's normal for pot pie. And then on the plate, it doesn't really matter because you have all the goodness there. So this recipe is always nice and juicy, comfort food, great for the fall and winter, so easy to make. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all try this at home. Thank you so much for watching. Till the next video, stay blessed everybody.